What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang? We have lots of exciting updates, especially from the SEC. They have made a statement about Cardano Ada. Is it no longer a security? We're going to see what the Cardano community has to say and people outside of Cardano. That and more. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Cardano Ada Network TVL surpasses 560 million Ada. NFT trading volume surpasses 700,000 Ada this week. And though this number can grow a lot more, Guys, I've worked in top 15, top 20 NFT projects and they just get dwarfed. They can't even reach a small fraction of this trade number. So again, this is an amazing metric and I'm very excited to see our growth with NFTs. So what's going on with Gary Gensler? The SEC has retracted its request for the court to classify tokens like Solana, Cardano and Polygon as securities in its lawsuit against Binance. So in the lawsuit against Binance, they retracted that it's not really the same in my opinion as saying, hey, Cardano ADA is not a security. So we need to be careful because they can pivot. They are fickle. We know governments alike, they're not here to defend your bags. You know what I'm saying? And they can run lawsuits indefinitely as long as they want. So let's check out the optimism and then where we need to be vigilant. Cardano Yoda says ADA is not a security. The SEC backs down on claiming ADA and other tokens are securities in the Binance suit. This is a significant win for Cardano. And I agree, it is a win. I just like to be careful. Cryptocurrencies are just numbers on the blockchain. It makes no sense to make differences based on the network consensus. Yes, logic is logic, but perception runs the market. Emotion runs the market, right? Why do you buy a Supreme shirt? Not that I would. Over a, a basic cotton tee. It's all qualitative stuff. It's all emotion, perception, and headlines and news really are the market making. And and it's a really a millionaire billionaire war. It's not a guy buying a hot dog in El Salvador that runs the price up. But that's a conversation for another day. Let's focus on SEC goodness. Cardano will never be a security. It's official. ADA has defeated the final boss and can now be sold across all platforms in the USA without worry. With major scaling and on-chain governance just 30% of SBOs away, Cardano is setting up to see a new all-time high. I need more ADA. Now, this is just way too optimistic. I do agree that Cardano is not a security. That's my personal opinion. I'm not a lawyer. And I do agree it's the best one for decentralization, compliance, especially with the gold standard CRI going into MICA compliance in Europe. With CFTC saying that 70 to 80% of crypto is not a security and the way that Cardano is leading with the best grassroots, yes, it's going to be the last cryptocurrency to be classified as a security but we need to be careful with the narrative pivoting because we get bamboozled in the process and we get left as exit liquidity when it's opportune so i think it's a far stretch to say like hey we defeated the final boss no it retracting a statement against binance is not the same thing so we need to be vigilant even though this is still a w for ada cardano fam bullish expects similar actions in the coinbase and kraken cases and I agree, we may see more retract, retracted statements uh, classifying Cardano and other altcoins in their lawsuits, but we need to be careful, guys. It's not the same thing as Gary Gensler going and saying, hey guys, ADA to the moon, it's not a security. Even though I believe it is, uh, it's the best one in terms of compliance. So let's see some more level-headed statements, some outside the community. There is no reason to think SEC has decided Soul is a non-security, but you could replace Soul with Polygon or Cardano in this case, right? That they don't want to do discovery on a dozen tokens in the Binance case appears to be a litigation tactic, not a change in policy. Note the SEC still calls these tokens securities on the other exchange cases. So we'll wait and see what happens. The SEC, this is an SEC tactical move. It doesn't mean that they think they're commodities. So we need to be careful, guys, of our personal opinion, what the SEC is doing, and be careful of their tactics. Is it a win? Yes. Will we see other exchanges where they retract that statement about Cardano? I think so. But we need to be careful with statements like, hey, defeated final boss. Like, let's just be careful. Um, I welcome all the optimism by Lucid and Cardano Yoda and Chris and whatnot. But we just have to be careful because we have the blue tint lens on. And we need to be careful about how, how much bias we have. And that they are here to just troll us. They're not here to defend our bags. But let's move in more positive, even though that's a W. It's great. And I don't think Cardano is going to be a security. I definitely think it's a commodity. 
We're happy for Leonardo. This means our GPUs are now also being used by Canva users. Exciting times ahead. Now, Dedium is kind of like the render token for Cardano. And the reason why this is great is earlier we saw Leonardo AI, a partnership with uh, Dedium and Canva guys is used by over 170 million users. So unknowns to them, hidden behind obscurity, they're accessing Cardano, which is fantastic. I love that. MinSwap is bringing unfilled limit orders goodness. So partial fills, MinSwap V2's partial fill feature is here. So this is great because this way you'll be able to do partial fills, different stages, uh, automatic cancellation if it doesn't get uh, filled completely, which I think this is great because it's going to further bridge the gap between centralized exchange UX and decentralized exchange UX. The further we can find that synergy, the better off we'll be because I think a lot of retail, they like the experience provided by centralized exchanges and this is a step in the right direction to reduce some of the friction, which is good. Partial fill, you can set the limit price as a value or a percent above the market based on any asset of the pair. Very good, I like that. Up to five max swap count. So this is good stuff. Sending an expiry time, a deadline for your order. If it's not filled, it'll automatically be canceled. Good stuff. World Mobile continues to do a great job. They're almost at 1,900 total air nodes. I'm very excited to see how they're going to further help uh, developing nations with reliability and networks that are just not resilient whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone has fiber optic, uh, reliable internet like in North America. So exciting to see how they're helping other places of the world. But I'm also low-key interested in what they're doing with uh, United States and also Canada because Canada we don't have many options it's pretty uh, pretty much a monopoly like there's only one choice for fiber optic you know and it's usually always that case so there's not much of a competition and I think that competition is really good with tech ADA is a scarce resource and at the same time a means for Cardano's decentralization and security the more the price of ADA rises the more expensive the 51% on Cardano attack, uh, sorry, the 51% attack on ADA will be. The number of stakers uh, grow, the higher the decentralization will be. And this is important because Bitcoin sometimes is mis there's a misconception because if you control a massive amount of the hash rate, uh, it, it can have a, a unique attack vector. And I think that Cardano is set out to be the strongest, both in terms of delegators, uh, attack vectors, DDoS resistance, and we're just getting started. I'm really excited to really see Cardano fully matured and in the hands of the community. Genesis keys burnt, ready for compliance. Let's go. Cardano reminds me of Bitcoin in the early days. Cardano was built on the same principles as Bitcoin. Security is priority number one, decentralization priority number two. ADA is a commodity with a fixed supply. This is key, guys. Predictability, decentralization, compliance, fixed supply. These things interest both everyday users and institutions. Cardano uses an EUTXO accounts model. Where Bitcoin and Cardano differ is with the consensus mechanism, of course. Proof of work versus proof of stake. In fact, it was Cardano's proof of stake that just made me stop turning on my miners. I got them in the back, future bit, about around 6 terahash per second. I just got, I was like, bun this, man. Like... I don't need to be worried about burning things down. Proof of stake. <laughs> proof of stake, you know, proof of like, and, and that's coming from a guy like underclock this, undervolt that, tweak this, tweak that. People forget about like, consumers should just do a deep dive into like tech and IT before they start doing mining shenanigans. When it comes to proof of stake, the main argument for using it is decentralization and energy efficiency since you don't have to use extensive energy supplies to mine ADA. I won't get too much into tech jargon. However, what the end consumer or investor should know is that Charles Hoskinson was an early user and community member of Bitcoin and co-founder of Ethereum. When he founded Cardano, he did so by combining the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is why we consider Cardano to be a third generation blockchain. It's so important to understand the beginnings of crypto and study the foundation to why each chain was created. And he believes that Cardano will solve different problems uh, than the other chains. And I think that's fine. And I think we'll exist with the other changes and there'll be a symbiotic relationship between them. One used for whatever, gaming and this and that. One used for this, one used for store of value, you name it. But I think Cardano is going to be one of the most versatile networks. 
Speaking of versatility, Zerberus. The technical team is working tirelessly to improve Siren, an essential building block for the Zerberus risk ratings. Siren will be integrated with the risk rating in Model V3, making it more accurate and responsive to malicious actions. Therefore, new tokens will be added to our model once Siren is integrated into the new Model V3. I saw Tokyo Pay Wallet also integrated Zerberus Tech, and I hear about more platforms wanting to integrate them. The other pumped up fun alternatives want to integrate Zerberus. So I think that the work that they're doing is much appreciated both to Cardano and outside. And we saw Siren, kind of the analogy used of having a, a Zach XBT in your pocket. I think this is such a breath of fresh air because it's no longer like audits are a meme. We need stuff like this of like being able to see risk ratings, to be able to track wallets, to be able to demystify a lot of the tech jargon or the labyrinth of networks, uh, wallet to wallet transactions that are that have innately obscured um, a scenario or a malicious intent. So they are doing a great job, I think, to help quantify a lot of the um, difficult things, a lot of the jargon, so to speak, in crypto. So let's talk about price prediction and why this is such an important chart. We're looking here at Bitcoin dominance and it just puzzles me how stupid people can be that they don't realize that alt season is not here. It's not here. Bitcoin dominance was around 40% or lower on both occasions that Cardano ADA reached their uh, its all-time highs. And right now, Bitcoin dominance is like climbing to 57%. So January 2018, we had Bitcoin dominance at like 39, 40%. And September, at the end of August 2021, same thing, 40%, 39%. So with Bitcoin dominance climbing, it shows you that alt season is not here yet. On both of these occasions where I drew a uh, blue line, you can check these links out all in the description. Here, Bitcoin dominance, again, like 40%. Here again, 39, 40%. So with us at 57%, we're not at alt season. Alt season is loading. I see some clowns in the comments who actually think that the bull run is over. It's hilarious. So with Bitcoin dominance climbing, and clearly we need Bitcoin dominance to plunge as we saw on the only two occasions where we had all-time highs, January 2018, end of August slash September 2021. Clearly, we need Bitcoin dominance to come down. That's alt season. And that's reinforced by the fact that only 20 to 25% of people globally are searching Bitcoin. So we can come to the conclusion, guys, that trust the data, not the trolls. The line doesn't lie. People lie. Alt season is not here yet. Retail isn't here yet. So why is retail not here yet? They're just stupid. They're just dumb. So... The reason why alts, like I have some friends, right, who are classified as retail. I kid you not. They're like, yeah, I'm going to get more ADA uh, when it hits 50 cent. That's how they operate. So they don't trade like you and I. They're, they haven't been here through the bears and the bulls to understand that when it's getting flooded hard, that's where your conviction should go in. You trade as a contrarian. And especially like all you need is Bitcoin dominance chart, really. You could look at S&P 500. Russell index, things like that. But I think Bitcoin dominance is an easy way uh, via trade view or what have you to easily see that, hey, alt season is not here. So now that we know that alt season is not here, I think that um, timing the highs between this and, and this high, I'll do another video where we look at how it reaches one high and the next and timing the length between them. I think we're set out to see some pump action going into autumn and into winter. So I think we'll see some positive price action anywhere from like December, give or take, of this year and then going into January, February. I think that's when we'll see the massive pumps, $1 and above. And I think we'll easily surpass three bucks. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how important this is. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the nonsense clownery that's not based in reason, trends, social sentiment, or Bitcoin dominance. You got a lot of bozos just pulling up TA who don't, they don't know what the F they're talking about at all. So be careful, be careful and be vigilant because as we saw with this SEC stuff, some people are taking it a little too like defeated the final boss. Like here, we're here to make money, okay? I'm not here to play Zelda, Legend of Zelda, <laughs> villain arc, okay? 
Because at the end of the day, like we need to be careful too. Greed goes both ways and we can have an insatiable greed appetite to see Cardano go to one cent and like, I'm still waiting for it to go to 0. 0.00000. Is that possible? Yeah. Is it probable? No. And at the same time, like if you don't make any gains during this cycle, then what was the point? What was the point? I'm, I'm, I'm a freedom maxi. I'm a, a money maxi. I'm here to look at things objectively and to be balanced. And so... Always let's do our best to be balanced, not listen to the trail trolls, listen to the data. So let me know what you guys think. What's your take on this uh, SEC stuff? Do you think that it's uh, a far stretch to just be like, yep, yeah, Cardano's not a security, good to go, we beat the final boss? Or are you somewhere in the middle and you see that they've just kind of like, you know, it's a narrative thing and they may, they may toot their horn a different way moving forward. I hope to be optimistic. I hope that we see more exchanges, as Chris O alluded to. I hope we see more exchanges kind of back off and we see similar actions where they retract that request against Cardano for Coinbase, Kraken, and so on. So hopefully we see an optimistic, but let's be careful with kind of concluding that, yeah, it's not a security. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.